morning. It's another glute and leg day. It's a little breezy out here, but it's okay. We gotta get these gains. See y'all in the gym. back with another glue and leg day got on my gray key fit shorts converse nice and flat shoes let's get these things okay so you already know first things first get a good stretch in before we start our actual workout i like to do these these are my favorite of course hamstring lower body stretches always warm up don't forget never forget i tend to warm up about 15 minutes before i do any of my workouts and get a good you know nice stretch open up the hips and um just you know getting my muscles ready for some heavy weight lifting And you already know, don't forget to activate those glutes. Weight those glutes up. I really, really, really have seen a lot of difference in my glutes when I activate them first before I do any of my lower body workouts. I'm telling you, these things are amazing. Using these bands to weight those glutes up, getting them prepared for all the weights, and you will definitely see those results sooner than you think. So do not skip any activation before you do any weightlifting for your lower body. So now here I'm just going to use the same band again. Instead of doing a squat, I'm going to do the banded side toe taps. So again, this is activating the glutes, but I'm just going to be using one leg at a time to kind of isolate everything and, you know, get these glutes ready for some action. Don't ever skip activation because I'm telling you, you will definitely see a difference in your workouts and it actually help you with my muscle connection, which is going to help you target the muscle you're trying to target. So don't forget to keep that in mind. Okay, so one of my absolute favorite. I go up to about 80 on the dumbbells, but this time I'm using 70. This is kind of heavy. So, you know, go at whatever you can handle until you can, you know, do progressive overload and increase your weight. But yes, these will help to abolish those glutes, baby. I'm telling you. Here's a side view. What you want to do is get a good grip on this dumbbell and you're going to look like you're doing like a nice pump. Come all the way down, make sure your spine is neutral, your head is down, you're not looking up, and you're just gonna repeat this four times, and I do 12 reps. Okay, here we are with our Romanian deadlifts. We are working on the hamstrings and glutes at the same time. You want to do a light bend in the knee and come down with the bar, the not the bar, I'm sorry, the dumbbells close to your body as much as possible. Do not put a lock in your knees. You want to bend them just a little bit. Make sure your hips are pushing back and your spine is neutral. Also, make sure that you're breathing and not holding your breath when you're working out. I know it could be a lot to try to remember with the form and the reps, but it's very important that you remember to do that. Okay, guys, so we have our elevated goblet squats, quads, and glutes for the games. So, we get those started. I'm going to start with 40. I may go up to 50 or 60, but I don't know. But yeah, let's get to it. 
okay so here is the goblet squat what you're going to do is you're going to place the dumbbell in front of your chest and you're going to keep your head straight and line neutral always the reason why we elevate and the reason why we do a narrow stance is to target the quads while also targeting the glutes so keep that in mind that's the whole purpose of that i'm going to turn around here and we're going to do the same thing we're just going to show you a different angle you are going to do this about four set of 12 to 15 again but yes we're definitely targeting those quads and the glutes right now Okay, so for the lunges, now uh, I typically like to do the reverse lunges. They're a little bit more balanced to me. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to get used to doing lunges anyway when it comes to balance, but you wanna make sure that you are pushing your feet back and both legs are kind of like in a 90 degree form so your knee will not pass your toes. You want to make sure you're pushing that back leg back to protect your knees. Final last workout with the dumbbells. Narrow to wide squats. Okay, so here we have our narrow to wide squats. Basically, it's going to be a nice and controlled movement here. The wider stance engages in the muscles around the hips. Narrow stance focus more on the quads. Don't forget to always do nice controlled movements and to breathe in and out. Do not hold your breath. So that was it for today's leg day. Uh, your girl about to go get her nice protein shake. Feed these muscles. Oh yeah. Let's get it. Smoothie loading for the game. Hey man, what's up? How was the workout? Great. Got a good leg burn, good glute burn, got the gains. Now I have my protein shake for the gains. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl.